Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand, this is basically the information available for the total engineering seats in Karnataka, right? And this is based on the news article which is published in all the leading newspaper including Hindu, Times of India and other, right? So this, uh, as you understand, this year total 1,32,309 engineering seats are, will be available in Karnataka. So, which is quite a good news. And lot of students uh, have uh, asked for the you know, seat matrix. So, information, you know, exam wise and other details are available. How many seats will be there? So, this is like higher education department has notified seat matrix for engineering and architecture courses in the state. And 1,32,309 seats will be available and these are available in 245 engineering colleges in Karnataka for the academic year 24-25. So that is the news and where are these seats coming from you know before that you should also understand how many how much is the competition so this year 3.1 lakh students wrote CET exam Karnataka CET and as many as 2.7574 lakh students are eligible for engineering courses so there is increase in the you know total number of students eligible from 2.03 lakhs to 2.74 that is 70,000 more competition you have to face this year but the good news is that where are these seats coming from these seats are mostly related with computer science and computer science related branches why it is uh, why it is increasing is because that uh, this year AICT has removed the cap on the number of seats for CSC. Up to last year, only a college can have 500 seats. Any college can have only 500 seats for CSC or CSC related branches. Now they have removed the cap from 500 to and made it to 1000. 1000 student can study CSC or CSC related that you have to compete with 1000 students who are basically studying computer or computer related branches in your own college. So it does not mean that every college the seat will be now 1000, some will be at 500, some will be at 700, some will be at 800,000 depending on which how many number of you know, seats they will increase based on their infrastructure. So top colleges can increase more seats by nature, right? Now coming to the breakup of the seats. So out of that 1.33 lakhs uh, seats, right? 62,900 seats are under government quota. That means KSET, Karnataka CET, 62,930 seats. And Comet K seats will be 28,656. And there is another 5,155 seats which are for supernumerary quota or SNQ category, right? With this is over and above the KSET seats, right? So 62,900 plus 5,155. Those number of seats like 67 or 68,000 seats, 68,000 seats finally will be available for KSET, 28,656 seats will be available for Comet K, right? So I have already mentioned that the AICT has removed the cap on the engineering admissions and that is why the number of seats are increasing. 7,758 seats have increased, right? But there is a lesser seat increase in the KSET. So through KSET you can see 4,085 government quota seats have increased. So that is the breakup which is mentioned here. And the last year total number of seats were 1.24 lakhs. So 1.24 lakhs to 1.33 lakhs approximately 8,000 seats have increased. And the last year the total government quota seat was 58,845. So without SNQ quota in case the number of seats increase is 4,085 and the SNQ quota is separate which is 5,000 seats. So that's our overall and the good news is that you will see lot of computer science seats in your college. Every college will have say 500 seats to 1000 seats right for computer related branches. So that's all a short update. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel 
to get similar updates on the KSET and the Comet K as available. Take care and bye.